What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. So starting off, we're gonna be showing you how to get rid of those tight hips and our top five hip mobility exercises that I recommend doing every single day or at least before doing squats. So number one, jumping into it without wasting any of your time, make sure to smash that like button first because you already know this is gonna be a great video. We're gonna jump into some 90-90s. Now this is one of my personal favorites and it's called 90-90s because you have two 90 degree angles, okay? So how it works is you pretty much start off for about 30 seconds going side to side, okay? Just opening it up. One of the biggest issues is our hips, especially if you're always sitting down or if you're at home or if you're just driving, your hips are always flexed. We need to kind of get them to move back and forth and up and down, okay? So basically side to side, I'll spend about 30 seconds and then I'll go to one side and I'll start doing some scoops, okay? So once again, maintaining the 90 degree angle and what I mean by that is just pretty much going up and then down, okay? Trying to get your chin to touch your knee and this may be tough, it's not gonna be great the first time, you're gonna notice that as you keep getting better, you're gonna have improved mobility. So starting up, just doing some of these, okay? And then once you're done that, I like to go side to side, trying to get your chin from your knee all the way to your foot. Side to side. And there's no right amount of passes, just whatever feels comfortable going back and forth. That should already feel a lot better, kind of see which side, you know, how everything feels, and then go right over to the next. So once again, a reminder, you're going back and forth, then you're going up and down, then you're going side to side, just moving the hips in so many different ranges of motion, which you'll feel incredible. Number two, we got the rocking frog stretch. This is actually one of Kyle's favorites, and he's tasked me with showing this to you today. Um, I also love this one, though. It's really great. So you're gonna start with your uh, knees a little bit wider than your hips here. You're gonna point those toes outward. From here, you're gonna push your palms down. You're gonna push into your hips as far as you're comfortable come forward. Now there's two ways to do this. You could hold it, you could push in, breathe through it. Um, you know, once again, I really recommend this for more of a stretch, but if you want to utilize this to warm up, it's also good just to do 10 passes, pushing in, pushing into that depth, getting more comfortable as you start to open up those hips. All right, for number three, this one is a little bit more advanced and I really encourage you to do it at a level you're comfortable with. I can do one side fully, one side not as well, but once again, at the end of the day, you really need to focus on doing what you can. In a perfect world, we'd all be perfectly mobile doing the splits and we wouldn't need this video, but realistically, a lot of us got type hips and this is an excellent solution. So this is a Cossack squat. So normally when you squat, you're squatting low, pushing those knees out. From here, you're gonna focus on having one leg fully extended. As you push into it, you want that heel coming off the ground, your elbow coming to the knee, really pointing that toe up to the ceiling, stretching in all through the hamstrings and the hips, opening up your posture, and then you're gonna rotate over. Now you can see on this side, I'm a little tighter. I can't get as much full extension. That is okay. Go to where you're comfortable, practice, do passes, try holding it for different amounts of time and try to open into those hips, it's gonna do wonders. And number four, another one of my personal favorites, of course, as you can tell, they're all my favorites. These are things I do every single day. This is gonna be the kneeling hip flexor stretch. So to set up, basically you just wanna get, once again, two 90 degree angles, starting here and then all the way back here. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna shift your body weight forward, allow your knees to go past the toes, but keep your heels on the ground and then just go back, okay? Forward and then back, okay? And this is just gonna feel so great. To be completely honest, like this entire routine should take no more than five minutes each exercise. And you can do this a couple times per day. I highly recommend if you're seated for seven hours, do this in between breaks, lunchtime, stuff like that, before you squat, before you go to bed. These things will help you so much and help you just feel so good start implementing them. And last but not least, number five is just gonna be a simple rocking squat, okay? So how it's gonna work is you're just gonna get down into the squat position, just like you normally squat. Try to push your knees outwards and just kind of move back and forth. You're gonna be rocking, but you wanna keep your heels down at all times, okay? I wouldn't actually recommend doing it on something like this, but more so a nice flat surface, just going back and forth, back and forth. Obviously, today we're focused more on hip mobility, but stuff like this will also help with ankle mobility, which is huge for the squat and just overall proper mechanics. And a little bit of a challenge, if you wanted to do this as a pre-squat warm-up, what I would do is I would hold a weight, 10, 20, 45 pounds, go up into the middle of the squat, engage everything, core tight, glutes engaged, everything like that, and then go back down and just keep rocking back and forth. Up, hold it, hold it, hold it, Tension, tension, 
and then keep going and then you're good to go. Do this before squatting, all that good stuff. So I really hope you got a lot of value and I just wanted to you know, let you know that we do have an amazing podcast if you haven't listened before. It's called the Fit, Healthy and Happy Podcast with so much great value, two episodes every single week. Make sure to check that out. Second link in the description, we have it on Spotify and on Apple and I'd also like you to comment down below which area you'd like us to focus on next and we'll make a part two if we get enough responses. So hey, thank you so much. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next video.